For experiment number 10, which is specific energy and alternate depth of flow, the purpose of the experiment is to determine the specific energy in an open channel and then determine the critical depth for a particular flow. For this experiment, we will continue to use one constant flow so the H, the differential, would remain the same. So similar to for experiment number nine, you would use the same constant H for this experiment, but the difference here is that we are going to continually adjust the slope and measure the difference in the potential energy head here. So this would be our Y, and we would consistently adjust for a series of slopes. So say moving from 100, one on 200, one on 300, one on 400, one on 500. As you can see, we've just adjusted the slope from one on 100 to one on 60. And now if we take a look at the potential head energy innovation, <laughs> potential energy elevation. As you can see, there's a difference, there's a drop. So what we're going to do now is to adjust our needle so that we can read our revised Y elevation. So as you can see, we adjusted the needle so now that we can take our new Y reading. And we'll repeat this procedure every time we change the slope, we'll adjust to read our new Y reading. To measure the Y height, we're going to come up here and we can see from our apparatus our measurements in millimeters. So for example, this would read at 50, 58 millimeters. 